Now for this final exercise, I'm going to head to Artboard number 10. And on here, we've got what looks like some complex vector artwork. It's actually um, it originated as a scan of some brush marks and it was then image traced. Uh, and we have the result here. Now I'd like to take this brush effect and I'd like to do something interesting with it. Not just adding colors, but I'd like to put a photograph inside of that path. So first of all, I need to go to the file menu and choose place and pick our artwork. I'm going to choose the coast JPEG file, make sure the link checkbox is turned on so we don't embed the file. And then I'll click on place to load the image into the cursor. Now I have sized it to exactly fit this document. So I'm going to left click at the very top corner of the bleed line and that drops it in covering the whole artboard and including the area of bleed around the outside as well. If you ever want to drop an image into Illustrator at its supplied size, as I have here, then it's a left click of the mouse. Now, when that was placed, it was obviously placed in front of the vector artwork, but it needs to be behind. So I'll go to object, range, choose center back, and then we need to select both elements. This really is classified as contents is the JPEG image and the container that it will fit inside of is the vector artwork. So I'm going to start on the outside of the artboard, click and drag with the mouse across just those two elements to select them. And then I'll need to head up to the object menu at the top of the screen, go all the way down towards the bottom to something called clipping mask and click on make the only option available to us at this moment. Now this message is telling us that there's a lot of anchor points and a lot of complexity to the vector object that we're going to put the JPEG into. And so it's just warning us that there may be some issues with that redrawing on screen, possibly printing. Uh, from my experience, I've never had that problem. But of course, before you send something to print, do a draft printout. Do make sure that it appears as you wish it to. And I'll click yes to that to make the dialog box disappear. And there we have our effect. Our photograph is now contained inside of that vector artwork. And we have what's now called a clipping group. And that's denoted at the top left hand side of the properties panel. And again, we have those two elements. We have the container and we have the contents. So at the moment, it's the container that's active called edit clipping path. But if we wish to, we could click on the icon to the right hand side and that would actually select the contents, which is, of course, our JPEG. Now you'll notice that the selection bounding box changes. And from here, well, you could scale the artwork down. You could move that around. You'll notice that the clipping mask stays where it is whilst we're moving the image. So do just be careful that you don't drag your content too far and leave an empty space inside of your clipping path. You can also edit the actual clipping path, the container that is itself. And notice that it's active here. You can go to your direct selection tool, see all of the numerous anchor points appear on screen. And you could edit that with any one of the techniques that we've looked at in the previous exercises. But there we go. That's a clipping mask. I'm going to go to file and choose save to capture those edits.